Hey guys, what's up? It's Ty. Today we are making pizza. Now I'm shooting on a different camera. I'm shooting on a point and shoot right now. This is a Sony DSC WX300. It's a couple years old, but we're gonna see how it does. And uh, just shooting on this for today because I'm waiting on a new camera to come in. So stay tuned for that. The video will be up later this week and it should be pretty sweet. And yeah, so we're gonna be making some pizza today in the pizza oven. Step one is gonna be Get this thing lit up. Now I'll usually just let the blowtorch kind of sit in there and heat it up for a while. Um, unless you have like super dry starter wood, which I don't really have right now, but I'm making do it with what I got. You know, you got your fire started pretty good. Uh, just gonna want to let it get pretty big in there. I had some bigger pieces of wood I'm using today, which normally I'd use smaller stuff, like apple wood or something like that. But uh, yeah, so let your fire get going, heat it up nice and good. Uh, leave the door open for the start, but eventually you're gonna want to close it to really build up some heat. But keep feeding it wood, and then uh, once it gets pretty broken down, we're gonna push it to the back of the oven so it'll heat up the walls and keep all that heat insulated and nice for us and then uh, we'll get tossing some Zaz. Okay guys, to start we are going to throw down a base layer of flour. Without a floury base, your pizza will stick to the slider and you don't want that. It's extremely important that your dough is nice and uh, warm. Room temperature is uh, definitely a key in this. Nice and floury. The warmer your dough is, the less it's going to want to fight you while you're stretching it. So, make sure it's nice and warm. I've got a lot of bubbles in mine. Next, I'm going to do some. Uh, top secret stuff to uh, make sure my pizza is extra crispy. Next step is just to start stretching. Pop all your little air bubbles on the way. Get it going. If you're wondering why I'm not throwing it in the air, I can only make a 14 inch pizza for my uh, home wood oven. So stretching it by hand works fine. If you want to throw it, go for it. I usually don't just because I don't need that big of a pizza. It's not quite warm enough yet, the dough. I only had it out for about an hour. But as you watch, as it's stretching back in like that, if it's fighting you too much, it's not warm enough. Mine's fighting me just a little bit here. If you get little holes, you can just pinch them, close them up. It'll make it a little easier to slide it in there if you don't have sauce coming through. Now, I'm not a pro at making pizzas, but hey, if I can do it, anybody can. Just want to get this uh, thick piece of part of the crust kind of spread out just so I don't have a huge gigantic bubbly crust. Unless that's what you want on your pizza, it's your pizza, make it your own, you know. So, then right here, what I generally like to do is I like to grab my paddle and see how much room I have on my slider before I make this pizza too big. So be right back. Put some flour on this bad boy. And now, uh, if you're not as confident sliding it in, just uh, like picking it up off the mat 
if you're using a mat or a table or whatever, you can just make it right on the slider. Got thin right here. Push that up. Just make that right on your uh, slider like this, and then it's super easy to just slide it right in the oven. Alright, so this is about as big as I'm gonna make mine right now. Uh, just because it's only for me. Sauce. I don't have a spoon. Where does this lid from? Use it a lid. So I don't feel like going inside right now. This is pizza on the fly. Layer one, somewhat light. Grab some pepperoni. Italian sausage. Grab some uh, peppers. Nice and slippery. I think that is gonna do it for this guy. All right, so I got my pizza all made up. Now I'm gonna go over and check the oven, see how it's looking temperature-wise. Mm, wood's not quite broken down yet, and we're getting there. Ideally, we want the whole uh, pizza oven to be these red coals in here, or what, even white coals. My old thermometer. All right, so I got it all uh, spread out in there, basically along this back edge. Then I put my uh, temp gauge right in the middle. So I can see what I'm looking at. It looks about eh, 300-ish right now, which I want to get it between 5 and 600. But I just moved it over to the middle, so I'm gonna close it up, see how it looks in about five minutes, and then we'll be ready to throw that za in the oven. Also guys, today let me know what you thought about the new intro. Um, still kinda working on things, but let me know how you liked it. Comment below if you liked it, or a thumbs up if the intro was cool. And I know this video isn't about cars today, but that's not what this channel is about. This channel is about whatever I want it to be. And right now I'm making pizza, so you're getting a video about making pizza. Here she is. Got a little bit of a hole in this area, but it'll still taste good either way. Not bad. Oven wasn't as hot as I wanted. Maybe I'll make a second one for this video. I guess we'll see. All right, guys, here's the taste test. Ooh. Mm. All right, guys, that's it for today. Let me know if you uh, enjoyed this video. More car stuff coming soon. This next weekend's about to be insane. And, uh, yeah.